Max clicks bid strategy is what we're going to talk about, or maximum clicks bid strategy is what we're going to talk about in today's video and why this strategy is bunk or sucks. What is a much better option than using the max clicks bid strategy for making money with your Google Ads account? If you haven't seen my, or this first, is your first time watching a video on my channel? tell you up front this is not a bunch of theory or dorky information that's you know coming from Google's mouth this is actual information coming from somebody who does ad strategy on dozens of ad accounts 30 40 50 accounts at any given time managed hundreds and hundreds of different Google Ads account in the last 10 years and I understand how this strategy works inside and out what's a much better option not only that but we are the only firm that guarantees results for clients campaigns before we take any kind of a fee. So the stuff that we're using here to guarantee the results is what I'm sharing with you here in today's video. So don't, you know, the information you find in other channels, it's gonna be speculation, people that are full-time YouTubers, is bull crap. This is the real information that you wanna know about bidding strategy, specifically the back maximum, maximize clicks bid strategy or max clicks bid strategy. So with that, you know, general disclaimer out of the way, I'll get into the content and explain what this is, how it works, what are your options, what are your better options to get more clicks, because I know you probably are watching this because you want more clicks, you're struggling to get clicks. I promise you, I will give you an amazing way to get more clicks on your campaign. It's just not gonna necessarily have anything to do with the strategy. This is like a quick band-aid on a problem that isn't going to fix itself, ultimately. So if you're, if you're looking for that one little spot on the on the, the lantern so the genie comes out and is gonna make you millions of dollars you know it's not there necessarily put in a bit more work you'll have it maximize clicks is what people think will get them more clicks but really it's just gonna waste your money ultimately it'll spend more money to get you more clicks but not more sales and obviously we don't give a shit about that we give a shit about making more money so and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So with that said, maximize clicks bid strategy, or max clicks bid strategy for short, most people refer to it as, is just like it sounds, okay? It will actually get you more clicks, like I was saying earlier. It'll maximize the amount of clicks you are able to get on your current ad. So if you're struggling to get clicks right now, it'll get you more clicks. If you're using it, you're still not getting very many clicks. There's a very good reason for that that I'm going to explain here in just a moment. More clicks by itself is completely effing irrelevant. Profit is what we're after, what we're truly after. Max clicks bidding strategy is like writing Google a blank check exactly like they like it. They like you to just take your wallet out, open it up and say, hey Google, take as much as you'd like. Make their shareholders happy. Don't want to do this because you're too lazy to put together the actual right fundamental strategy that actually gets you more clicks. Maximize click bidding strategy and switching to that or trying to use it to get more clicks is like taking a diet pill. You damn well know that there's a pill that helps you miraculously lose weight. And nobody would be do doing diet and exercise. It's selling you the dream, basically. Google is selling you the dream. Want the real information? That's what I share on this channel. Real information that you need to know to have more clicks and then you're not getting enough clicks yet or you want more clicks, it takes some extra work. Not just using the maximized clicks bidding strategy. And even if, it, like I said, if the maximized bidding, maximized clicks or max clicks bidding strategy does get you more clicks, it may get you a few more sales, but way more wasted clicks. And therefore, way less ROI. And It'll be more of a drop in ROI that is worth the extra sales, to put it into perspective, most of the time. So, if you, for instance, wanted to run some experiment to see what more clicks would do, turn it on real quick, be my guest, 90 plus percent sure, that's gonna be 
not enough ROI in doing that for you on the additional clicks you do get. And then you'll be going back and listening to my original advice here. So I can't blame somebody for wanting to try what, you know, oh, there's a button there. It might get me more results. I can, you know, it says it'll get me more results. I gotta try it before I go ahead and do dozens of hours of work to try to get the same thing accomplished. I understand the desire to click that button is real, it's substantial. Go ahead and click it if you want. It's probably not gonna work. That is max clicks bid strategy to get you more clicks and proportionally more sales. You want that, much, but much more reasonable option is these five things that I'm about to mention right here. So, and of course, all of these things together will get you, you know, more, more clicks and then profitable clicks that turn into sales. If you're doing lead generation, by the way, it'll bring in leads that are similar quality that you had before, or better quality, if you want to say that. So, first thing here to mention, to get more clicks on your campaigns, you want the SCAG setup. SKAG, single keyword ad groups. This is something that seems like because I've been hammering on it so much on this channel, it's starting to come back as a more mainstream strategy. For a long time, people used it, and then they didn't use it because Google convinced people not to use it, and the ad managers were lazy as F, don't want to work, stopped using it, and then convinced their clients, well, this is what Google says, therefore it's the right thing. And it didn't make more money, but the PPC agencies slash consultants don't give a shit whether or not you make more money or not. They make more money by doing less, not more. And they just get good at convincing you and managing your expectations so they can raise their profit margins. Skag setup is single keyword ad groups where you use a dedicated ad for every keyword. Therefore, you can have a laser targeted ad for every search that people are making in your niche that you want to show up for. And then have a dedicated landing page or place on your site to send them to that you can hand pick based upon exactly how they're searching. So if they're typing in low cost pottery wheels, you can actually decide what's the best page on my pottery wheel website to send them to where it's got the you know pottery wheels under 500 bucks or whatever versus sending them to the pottery wheels page. Obviously that's gonna convert better. You expecting people to dig through your damn website to find what they're looking for is idiotic. It's gonna mean less ROI. Sorry, yes, you'll save time. But you're gonna piss away a bunch of money while you're doing it. So you, what do you want more, time or money? Really, it's, that shouldn't even be a question you're asking yourself because you can get someone else to do this. And once you do it once, it's done. So. But with, and then with that, to do single keyword ad groups right, you have to find the 500 different ways people search for a product or service that you're selling and target them all individually. Most people, when they do single keyword ad groups, they'll have like 20 keywords. Well, that's taking too big of a shortcut, basically. But if you do this, your click-through rate is gonna be three times higher than what it started out being. Your conversion rate is going to be like double where it started out being for the reasons that like I said you're going to have a, an ad. When they see four ads at the top of Google, your ad's going to get picked overwhelmingly, you know, more than any other ad that's show, that is showing up next to your ad But once you've done this. They're going to get to a more relevant page on your site, and if you don't have one, you're going to create one. So therefore, it's going to convert at a much higher rate than you had before. So you're going to make five times as much money and it would only be five times as much money if you didn't consider the fact that once Google sees you have better click-through rates and better conversion rates than the other ads that are in your market, they're gonna to wanna to show you more. Physically show you more, uh, like a higher percentage of the time for your keywords because there's no guarantee with people cycling in and out of those four ad spots that you're gonna get shown every time. But more importantly, get a higher percentage of the good quality traffic because they can give overwhelmingly the good quality traffic they kind of basically know is going to convert the best to the people who have been around the longest and do the best job they give the suckers that are showing up that are probably going to be around for 90 days and then gone which is 90 percent of people who advertise on google ads the shit traffic so you get on google's good side you get the best traffic the most of it you also get charged less money per click of course you end up making 10 times more money than you started with for single keyword ad groups. Done right the way that I talk about on this channel. Watch my video about single keyword ad groups if you want. Search for it on my channel homepage. But anyway, if you do this, 
as part of what I just mentioned, you're going to get automatically more clicks. It just isn't the get, you know, the, the quick fix strategy that switching bidding strategies is going to necessarily get you. And it's not going to happen overnight. There's a lot of people that they initially believe what I'm saying about single keyword ad groups, but then they expect in 30 days for the effect to be there. You've got to have 100 plus clicks on every keyword, or four on a keyword, we'll say, for the algorithm to understand you have higher click through rates and higher conversion rates than you had before, to give you the credit and to get you more clicks and want to give you more clicks on that keyword. So it takes time. It's not a get rich quick scheme. But on the other side of this, you put the work in six months down the road, 12 months down the road, the results are going to be fine. I promise you. You have more, way more clicks than you think you were even going to get from it. You're going to make a ton of money. You're going to make millions in the long run doing this. Because frankly, nobody wants to do this in your space. 99% sure. Why I know that? Because I've audited a, over a thousand different ad accounts. I see what people are willing to do, what they're not willing to do. Worked with hundreds of clients, but I've audited thousands of accounts. Because we don't take every client in terms of account. We, we audit, obviously. You just take it for me, uh, take my word, people aren't doing this. Anything in marketing that helps the user and what your competition isn't doing is only going to make you more money. It has to. So you can go with the single keyword ad group setup and get way more clicks, probably five to ten times more clicks than you started out with if you're struggling to get very many clicks at all right now. Because if you're not getting very many clicks at all, probably it's because Google doesn't think very highly of your ads as it exists right now. So you want to fix that. You can hire a landing page specialist, which goes along with what I said, but it's, it is separate and different. A lot of you guys, for lead generation campaigns, i.e. non-e-commerce, you think you can hire a regular web developer or web designer to make you a landing page because it's cheap. It's, everybody wants to save money. People that make highly converting landing pages don't sell their work for cheap. They are rare. If I have to hire a landing page designer at our own firm, I know it's no less than 100 bucks an hour. Therefore, a good landing page at cost at cost, you're going to be paying at least a thousand. If you find the designer that can work as a freelancer directly on your stuff and you give them really good instructions. You go to a firm that knows how to do it right, you're talking between three and fifteen thousand dollars for a good, highly converting landing page. I know you're probably falling off your damn chair right now. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's fifteen thousand dollars. Yes, fifteen thousand dollars, but it doesn't convert at 3% now, it converts at 15%. And you make that back in three months. People don't want it to be expensive because what they do, they think, what they do is the important thing in their business, which is doing the service or product or delivering that product or whatever. That's not the most important thing in your business unless you're gonna selling a revolutionary technology nobody else can replicate. It's the quality of the marketing. Sorry for you to, you probably don't wanna hear that, so that's the differentiator who, that decides who makes millions in your space and who doesn't. And who makes more understands what it takes and they're willing to do the work. So you can get a landing page designer who actually specializes, specializes in making landing pages, who makes nothing but landing pages, or practically speaking, has made dozens if not hundreds of landing pages. Because if, if you're a good landing page designer, guess what? You don't want to do anything else because that's like the highest paying skill Thing that you can get paid for. People pay ridiculous. People that are in the know, that really know what are, is going on, will pay a ridiculous amount of money for that because they understand what the end result is. The average person doesn't know what the end result is, so they're not willing to pay it. Well, then they get the shitty results. So I'm just telling you up front, landing page is worth its weight in gold bars when you get that done right. And once you've got that, um, the your 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 clicks are going to go automatically up because of the Google's quality score system. They're uh, you're going ultimately as soon as the convert because half of that determines what click number of clicks you get for your keywords is due to the click through rate. Half of it's due to the conversion rate. Well, any page is due to the conversion rate. So you know obviously if you boost that side of the equation and what the numbers are getting, you're going to get more clicks. For e-commerce guys, 
you got to invest more in your e-commerce website and make it more intuitive. It's one thing to make it intuitive, but a lot of you guys don't invest enough in your design quality and it doesn't look trusted. I don't. It's, I, I've had countless people that reach out to us at our firm asking us to see if they can guarantee results on their PPC campaigns and they have a shitty looking e-commerce website and they're trying to compete against people in their space. That'd be fine if there was little competition, but they're competing against people that have spent a million dollars on their website. They ain't gonna have a single chance in hell to make that work, to get Google to favor and send tra want to send traffic to your site versus that million dollar website. So you gotta put things into perspective. Obviously, we don't have, we obviously don't have, always have a million dollars to invest in a website, and if you don't have money to kind of invest with the other guys invest that are leading the market, I would say just the, the ticket is niching down. Okay, well you can't compete with blinds.com head on. You can't. You spent $10 million on their website. Well, let's specialize in one type of blinds and just do that because that specialization will make up for, you know, having to have your website look as polished because it does. So anyway, just another way you can go with it. Um, apart from that, you can um, lower or raise your bid. So if you're using manual bidding, you want more clicks, you can manually raise the bid. That's a better way to go in terms of how much effect it'll have on your clicks and switching to maximize clicks. Or should I say, both maximize clicks and raising your keyword bids will raise your clicks. Maximize uh, raising your keyword bids is gonna do it in a more, we'll just say sustainable way, less junk traffic coming through. So it's a better way mainly for that or you can adjust your target CPA bid or your target ROAS bid. You take your target CPA, you raise it, you're gonna get more clicks. You take your target ROAS, lower it, you're gonna get more clicks. It's pretty simple. That's obviously pretty much a quick, get, uh, quick, uh, quick and dirty fix that doesn't really give you that much results and doesn't fix the foundational problem, which is you wanna get on Google's good side so they promote the shit out of you. Four, click-through rate testing. So the other half of the equation that determines how many clicks you get is the click-through rate. Half of it is the conversion rate. Well, on the click-through rate side, you need to hire an actual copywriter to write your ads. A typical person at a, your run-in-the-mill $500 a month PPC agency. Sorry if I have been some of you guys running PPC agencies. There's some people charging 500 bucks a month that are really good. The typical situation, though, is you're gonna get a guy with like a year worth of PPC experience writing your damn ads, and the ad, they don't know jack shit about ad copywriting. So your ad's gonna be horrible compared to somebody running the ad who has hired a copywriter or whatnot, and you're, you're not competitive, basically. So even if, if you can't afford to hire the $5,000 a month PPC agency because you're just starting out, you can only afford the $500 one or whatever, or you have to manage it yourself and you don't know how to write good uh, ad copy, well then you just hire an ad copywriter on the side. In fact, just reach out to my agency for a few hundred bucks, I'll write you the be you know guaranteed best ad that you have in your space. Why? Because I've, I've written hundreds and hundreds of Google ads and probably thousands by now. I understand the, the quirks, and, you know, all basically everything you need to know about writing an ad. It gets you the damn ad, just take that to your other guys and, and use it. Pretty simple. Or hire somebody else is a copywriter. But I'll tell you in advance, you hire a copywriter who hasn't written Google ads, you're not going to get the same results as somebody who's written a lot of Google ads because there's certain quirks to it, certain things, such as, just to give you a couple quick examples, using digits in the ad generally gets the click-through rate to be higher. So you want to embed those in there. Well, the average copywriter that doesn't write Google ads doesn't know that by, by uh, large. Um, at, and if you're going to put a price in an ad, and to get it in a seven, we'll get a higher click-through rate. Well, mostly ad copywriters don't know that, or some do, but, or just a more uh, specific example. Um, people, uh, any kind of special characters that you can get away putting in your, away with putting in your ad, because they only allow so many, there's certain ones they do allow uh, in, in your ad, and uh, those will automatically increase click-through rate as well. So. That's the type of stuff that I'm talking about that regular copywriters aren't gonna know about. But, and then fundamentally, the bigger issue is, is you gotta just know how to structure a Google ad, what they wanna see first, second, third, that kind of thing. 
and they just don't understand that. They're not usually working with like three little lines and knowing how to jam pack the information they need to jam pack in that little three line section of your ad. They just don't have enough experience with it. With anything in life, you get better with trial and error. If they've never written a damn Google ad, they're just not going to be very good at it. We'll be better at somebody with no experience writing an ad and no copywriting experience, but your money's best spent with somebody who has Google Ads copywriting experience specifically. And finally, be patient, okay? When I say be patient, all of this stuff that I talked about, like what I was talking about earlier, none of it works overnight. People want an immediate solution that I talk to all the time. You are keep looking for that, or if you keep looking for that, sorry, I'm misspeaking here. You are going to get your ass handed to you over and over and over again. People, I see people all the time, they'll come to my agency and they'll say, oh, I hired three agencies. Hired one for three or four months and fired them. Hired them for three or four months and fired them. Hired them. <laughs> it's like, it was never going to work in three months. At least in a, excuse me, hyper competitive market. You need time for the ads to pick up enough data for the algorithm to favor those ads, even if they were the best ads. I at least get the super good ROI that you're looking for. All of this stuff, if you put the lay the foundation right, you will get the return on the other side. It's just a matter of when. That when is when Google has a firm understanding inside and out that your ads are better than the existing competition to give you the best traffic with the lowest rates and the most of it, most clicks most clicks so and then naturally with that maybe you already have the good ad set up or decent enough to beat because it's all it's not about what's good or bad it's do you have something better than the competition you're competing against click through rate conversion rate wise because if you do Google's going to give you more clicks so if you got that already but you've only it's been three weeks since you launched your ads answer might be just to wait. Wait two months, wait three months, wait six months. These clicks are going to slowly go up. And so what I always tell people is the typical growth rate in a Google Ads account, it's faster in the beginning, but still, it's only like 10-20% a month a lot of times. So when you have been running your ads for a month and it's been the second month and you're like, where's my results? And I look at the person's results and it's, you know, they got 20% more clicks the second month than the first. I'm like, what are you complaining about? If you just project this out over the next 18 months, you're going to have a shitload of clicks in 18 months. You want it to be like right away. Well, that's not how it works. So anyway, might just be have to wait a little bit more time to get you more clicks. You have the foundations set up well enough to beat your competition for Google to favor you. But with that said, that's pretty much how you actually get more clicks. And it's in a, not a sustainable way, because yes, it is sustainable that way, but to get more clicks, of the quality that you want and also get a lot, lot more clicks than even the maximized uh, clicks a bidding strategy will get you. Because if you switch on maximized clicks or max clicks bidding strategy and you don't have the foundation set up right to be your competition, it's only gonna take you so far anyway. So it, it'll bury you in shitty clicks, but on top of that, it's not even going to give you as many clicks as you still would want. It's mainly just gonna bury you in shitty clicks that the leading competition that they do like, don't want. If, if you really want to sum it up into one simple thing, so you're paying for a bunch of leftover garbage. Because they want to give the good traffic to the people who serve it, to, who are good stewards of the ad space, that give Google's users a great experience. So that Google's users get a great experience, and then they come back to Google and make a search, and then click on an ad in the future. That's what they really, really want more than anything. They want to reward the people that do that really, really well for them and give them most of the money. They want to give everybody else nothing or as close to nothing as they can so they go away. If you like the video, appreciate it if you give the video a like and consider subscribing to the